Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Ursula's Journey. I hope that you all are doing amazing today. Feeling great. Rose this morning with a leap in your spirit. Hope that you're just enjoying the weather wherever you are. I am here in Alabama. It is about two o'clock Central Standard Time. I took cash for a grooming and um, bath. So when I left there, I'm like, what am I do? I ran to the Dollar Tree and then I came over to the thrift store again. So I came over, I said, before I go home, let me just go ahead and do my actual live in my haul, you all. So I am over here still at Love Lady Thrift Store, but I today I found a area that had shade and my car is running because it's hot. And you know what, I'm okay with that because I'm grateful, I thank God for the beauty of the sunshine. So y'all can see that I have my little tam on here. I have some twist in my hair that I did last night. And it was a gentleman over here that he left. So I was like, I guess he said, what is she doing? Talking to herself. But anyway, he's gone. So I have a little time right now to myself. Cash probably got another two hours or so um, for his grooming and all of that. And I was going to go to my mom. But I said, you know what? By the time I get over on that side of town, I don't know what traffic may be. It's Easter weekend. Let me stay on this side. So I just wanted to come on and show you all what I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I hate I can take my things out. It's a random um, set up, nothing spectacular, nothing, you know, grand, just a few things that I purchased. And I do have some new things here. And I just wanted to share. I went to a Dollar Tree over in close to the Trustful area. I stayed in the Trustful area um, shopping at the different Dollar Trees. And that's what I have been doing. So if this is your first time coming in, thank you for coming into the view. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you all so much. Please click like, subscribe, and share. But let me tell you all something so funny. You know I'm trying to get my actual um, subscribers up and just get everything done. And this week I promised myself I was going to do more content. You know, because content creator, yes, that's a part of who I am. Because I'm constantly doing videos and things on my um youtube no my youtube sorry my facebook channel i have a facebook community that you have to join which is called life's journey with ursula and then i have an instagram page and i have a radio show be inspired with ursula with the podcast as well so i'm constantly you know putting things out there content big big but i'm like wait a minute my youtube channel must move so i started looking at some things and thanks to benjamin the part-time van life he shared about some things yesterday um, and I was like, you know, let me go on and look at this. And I started reading more and it was just saying about, you need to comment more on people's YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, I'm watching it and what have you, but I'm not commenting like I need to. So I did that and people commented back at that. I had a couple more people subscribed. So I'm watching you all constantly. I love you all. Just the things that you're doing and sharing and helping me. But I said, let me get on here and make sure that I pay more attention to this and when I'm out here with myself, you all like to look around, so that's what I'm doing. But I knew that I needed to go ahead and make some comments. So these are some things I have here on from YouTube, from my actual, I'm sorry, say YouTube, from my actual um, Dollar Tree haul, you all. So let me show you what I have here. When I first went in, they had things, and some of the things were like beachy scenes, and one lady said, oh, the Easter stuff is gone. I'm like, yeah, you have to get there early. I very rare go to this Dollar Tree, but I found this and I thought it was so pretty. Look at that. It was different ones. It had flamingo and what have you. This one says sunny summer days and it had speech things on it. Oh, I thought it would be so cute. And I said, this is perfect for me to drink, you know, especially my protein shakes or things in, or I like to do my little inserts in it with water. But anyway, thought this would be cute and perfect to actually take to work and I'm going to be using it at home as well but I thought it was so pretty isn't that pretty but they had different ones with different tops they had the flamingo with the pink all of that but I said no let me get something that's summery I love that yes and I don't, let me see if it says how many fluid ounces 22 fluid ounces you all so I thought that was so pretty Next, I purchased my Sunkiss inserts. I purchased these in the pineapple normally. When I got sick, I just couldn't stand to drink them. Then I went over to the high C, 
and I got the red and it's been great so I decided to get the grape sun kiss which I'll probably be putting in here as well just to get my water intake so I purchased those these are great if you have kids you all these are wonderful it's five calories um, no sugar no sodium or anything no protein but I think they're great when you have kids and you're going out because when my son was young we would always go over to grandma aunt's or whatever great grandma house I always packed him a lunch he is to be 25 in August so stopping at the McDonald's and the fast foods we didn't do that he really liked crystals when he was little in the car seat he loved the crystal I'll give him the three little crystal burgers and fries and the strawberry drink and that was his little favorite thing but I didn't buy stuff like that so whenever he went my aunt would like PJ what do you have in your bag today I always packed his snacks and things with him so to say that is when you're going out with your kids and you're taking a place I don't care where we went to the store either we always packed him his little lunch and snack because when you go out what do kids want they want something to eat and drink of course you know that's a child and I usually have my cup to drink with me as well so these are great to have take those bottled waters the Dollar Tree have those bottled waters put them in the freezer let them freeze get their little actual um, the lunch pouch bags put that water in there put that two waters two of these inserts in there go ahead and mix them up in the water fix them a little something a little snack or something I used to fix them a little sandwich and different things some chips and fruit put it together and that'll get the child's mind off of thinking they have to go to fast food all the time which is really not good for them so I used to do that with my son that was just a tip you all this time this time look I found some socks and it was two I haven't been able to find the socks who has the socks thrifty Tiffany she's been showing these socks all things burn that I watch um, let me see sweet Sadie yes you all have been finding these socks and I found some so these are the space jam a new legacy but it has the two in them the two so what I'm gonna do is give these to my nephew you know they are cute and I said, I'm gonna give these to my nephew but I found them and I was excited to find them so I have them right here you all next thing I actually purchased I went the other day and was gonna to go to the car wash, but it was so crowded, Cash and I, we came from the park. So I said, well, you know, let me go home and just wash my car myself. I did, and then soon the next day, look, pollen is full on it, but I knew I needed a deodorizer for my car. So I found these car air fresheners, and they're the vanilla, the three pack. Cause I was looking for something, I was like, let me get these a three pack. So they are the vanilla, and they're actually with the candle, candle picture of vanilla. And you can smell them through there, you all. So I got that. I'm just gonna put this back, but I was really happy to find these. There were others there, and a lady was like, let me get these for my grandkids for the Easter basket. And it had all the different, um, you know, different types of the Cheerios and the different things and what have you, but I'm gonna start stocking up on those and having them to have for gifts and things for my niece and nephews. So. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. You know, like I said, this is a small one. I went on in and looked at some of the little food things because when I'm out, I normally get the tissue. Like I mentioned, toilet tissue, we stock up with tissue, but I always buy two or three when I go out and get it in today and just stack them downstairs. So if you get low because you're always doing bundles, oh, I do have the tissue down there. And the Dollar Tree soft tea, I think, tissue is some good tissue. Garbage bags, I get those things fabric sheets I stock them up and have those so this is what I do sometimes with the food items as well wasn't going to buy food items today but I said let me go ahead and get it I knew we had some Heinz tomato sauce already there for a spaghetti so I got another meat flavor and this is amazing you know in the stores um, it's very rare okay so I got this I love this pasta salad I mean sorry, pasta sauce I'm sorry and it's the meat kind for the spaghetti and then also, I just went on and got a can, a pack of noodles. These are the Columbia, the award-winning American pasta spaghetti noodles, 25% more. I purchased those. My husband's somewhere in the store. He tried to send me. I'm like, no, because you do this every time. And he does the shopping. He likes to shop. He does the cooking. He likes that. So he wanted to send me out. I said, no, I'm not going in there because I know what today was. This was my spring break. I promised myself I was not going to get over deserted for anything, just coming back off of being really sick as I was. And I'm like, no, you know, I started to go across here to Publix and get chicken. I said, I'm not going to go in there. Nobody's but my husband and our son be there. He brings in his stuff or whatever. 
I'm not doing it to myself, you all. So I purchased a manwich. This is good to have. I got two of those. The manwich um, sloppy joe sauce. I know, and I think everybody loves manwich. This is great to have in your cabinets, you all. So purchase those things. Get those, as they say, the staple items, the canned goods. They're great to have. Because if you get to a point that you go to the store, you have things there already that you can work with. And that's how my husband likes to shop. So that's what I did, you all. Got those items. Dwindling on down here, I got the actual English muffins. The six of those. When I was sick, you all, mm, this is how I lost those 14 pounds. I could not find them to take anything down. Nothing. They want nothing. And I would buy these and they would just sit there. My husband was getting them. So now I went on and got a pack of these because they had a whole stack of bread. So I knew it was fresh. And this is actually expiration date. It's fresh through 418. And I put them in the refrigerator. And you know, you go to McDonald's, get egg McMuffin, and do things. You're going to pay money for it. I wouldn't put that way. $5 for it. Get these. Go ahead and fix your egg. Put your bacon, a little something, meat a ham in there, and have these made up for the children. And I know the Bell's Tins, um, the lady that is on there with her 10 beautiful children that she has and her husband, she talks about how she makes up their meals in large preparations. And this is great if you have kids. Well, think about this for the summer. Make those meals up, make these lunch, um, make these up and you know through the night and and put them up and all they gotta do is pop them in the microwave they're great to have so i just got one of those also i got two of the martha white artificially flavored blueberry you just add milk you can't beat this these are delicious i don't do the muffins i put it in an actual low flag style pan and just cut them so i got two of those those are great to have these are great these are things that i did when my son was young we didn't buy junk, and I still don't buy junk like that because my husband believed in cooking the meals. So that's how my son was raised, so to go in for uh, sandwiches and waste it. So, mm -mm. But yeah, you know, you do that, but not all the time. So he's not familiar with that at all. He's familiar with the breakfast and the meals. And so I would cook these up for him as well and put them and have them. And these are great to have when you have kids. And then those spring breakers got over. Think about that, okay? Summer's coming. Kids will be out soon. Also, I got this Mountain Trail mix for myself. Um, it's a blend of peanuts, raisins, M&M's, milk chocolate candies, almonds, and cashews. So I purchased those, you all, because I'm going to mix them up with the next thing I have. I love that. I love that. And when I was sick, I couldn't deal with that either because I'm a strange reason. And then I purchased the Sweet and Spicy Trail Mix. It's a blend of butter toasted peanuts, hot Cajun corn sticks, honey roasted peanuts, almonds, pretzel sticks, and honey roasted sesame sticks. So I'm going to mix all those together and have them as a treat. So these two will be mixed together. And then the last thing I got, I love, my dad used to love these. <laughs> Amazing thing about him. These are the strawberry flavored candies with a little strawberry flavor inside. I got those. So these are um, what I purchased as well. So as I mentioned, you all, this is a small haul. Then I went to Dollar Tree. I went in to look for protein shakes. They didn't have any. They only had the ones that were 10 grams of protein. But there are some of those 30 grams that they had inside. So I was looking for those and they were not there. So that's what I was looking for and they were not available. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all this is a mixture of Dollar Tree as well as Thrift because I only got two things out of the thrift store. I went back to the Lovely Thrift Store as I mentioned. I am in their parking lot. Thank God I found this shade. <laughs> and so I saw one of my co-workers and I said, oh my gosh, I didn't know that you thrift. I thought just my co-worker Keisha and I, you know, thrifted. Keisha has a son that's um, in the fifth grade. So for spring break, of course, she's doing more with him. So I don't think she's been to the doll actual thrift store, but next week we'll be hitting it again. I'll probably come Tuesday, which is my actual senior's day. Let's see what they put out. This dress was looking at me yesterday and the day I was like, let me get it. And the two items that I purchased were not anything um, that I got a discount or sell with. It was the green and yellow as it was yesterday, 30% on the green and the yellow is 50%. So this was the orange. This was an extra large, it's $3.98. And it's a dress, you all. Isn't that pretty? Wait a minute, I love this material for this time of the year. I'm gonna go home and wash them. 
as I told you all what I pur actually purchased yesterday go back and look at that dollar that um, thrift haul yesterday I washed those things up and I did um, get together two of the outfits and the dress for next week honey ready <laughs> look at this isn't this beautiful it's similar to the dress yesterday with the quarter sleeves um, sleeves here and the colors are a beautiful beautiful and the front is the same as the other one was yesterday and I'll put a little camisole of summer thunder and it's a long flowy and look at the bottom it has a little the French style at the bottom there and it has a belt yes it has the belt but isn't this pretty I love it I love it so I'll be wearing as I mentioned I'm particular about my clothing so I'll be having my Spanx top on, which is like a camisole, and my Spanx up under here. This is what I do. This is how I dress. I don't like anything showing or bodily moving, and I like things to be looking, you know, professional, like a woman, a woman should look, and that's how I like to dress, you all. So this is it in the front there, and I am just looking forward to wearing it. It is so pretty. The colors are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's one thing. And when I go in, I say, you gonna think that women of thickness, 14s, like just black, gray, and brown, then I thought you could find one time. But now I go in, I just make sure it looks the colors. So I found this skirt. And as I mentioned, I ordered several t-shirts from Timu. So you all, I am looking forward to getting those in. And I'm gonna be wearing it with my skirts. They're t-shirts with inspirational messages scriptures and things and now you can wear your t-shirts with your skirts and different things and then the summer's coming and i'm a 12 month employee work for the school system so i'll still be there so i'll be wearing that i'm looking forward to i have three hauls coming i'm looking forward to you all so this is a white tag this is an extra large for 298 298 and i'm going to show you what i actually spent which is more than normal because I usually get my discounts or get the color tags and I didn't so today I really wasn't looking I was like well cash at the groom I'm gonna go and chill for a moment and go home and sit and rest my back my back and some things are really hurting <laughs> hurting 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 so this I'm sorry you all I forgot to share who this dress was by forgot to share who this dress was by this dress is by glamour and it's a size 14 what's up you all glamour size 14 yes something about that getting out of my setup here so this dress this skirt of sorry by notations it's a size extra large 96 polyester four percent spandex and there it is notations and this is the skirt itself i love a line flary skirts and that's what this is so i can wear this with many things a white t-shirt a um you know red brown black white many different things but the band to it i like the band this way this is a different band and this is the skirt it's a flare skirt you all let's go really shape this way so i am looking forward to these outfits of wearing them yes the two that i got and as i mentioned i didn't get a discount on these that is okay because i usually get great discounts so my total was 696 one was 398 and one was 298 because i didn't get any discounts but that was my total but we know we can't go on a story where it's been 698 on two items so that's my haul combined thrift and dollar tree haul i hope that you all enjoyed it I did find some different things in a Dollar Tree, and you all out there that do those Dollar Tree hauls, you have me looking, and I appreciate it. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So here's my note reminding me what I need to do: get Cash some food and his leash, which means when I go back to pick him up, you know he's on this prescribed dog food bag. It's fifty dollars, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to go back early and sit out because I can see when they finish grooming him. In my leash here, that I have leash, I'm going to take his leash in and wash it and sit outside on the deck and get the sunshine and put some more of his things in to be washed that he sleeps on so they can be ready and clean because he's going to be extra extra clean but anyway you all that's my haul combined my actual dollar tree and my thrift haul once again thank you all so much for uh, subscribing if this is a new person coming in or a new individual
individuals coming in, please just subscribe. I will thank you for that, for your love and support. Like and share. And also click that notification bell so you know when I'm coming in. More content is coming to you all. I have some more videos to upload. Also, um, the sun is so beautiful. I always like to leave an inspirational message. You know, I was getting up this morning and, you know, your homes feel different than outside. And I was like, ooh, it's so cool. A jacket on. I went out to take cash out. I said, ooh. I say it is so warm. I didn't need a jacket, but I kept it on. And I'm looking at my flower bed up front. And I don't know if I posted that video because I'm waiting on my butterfly flower to bloom. And I'm like, nothing's coming up. So I'm hoping that it hasn't messed up there with Cash want to, you know, take his moments on it. But I do have others so I'm going to plant. And I'll be posting that when I do that. Probably start doing some planning next week. But I realized, I'm like, why am I rushing this flower? You know, I said, it has its time when it wants to develop, when it's ready to bloom. And that made me think about, you know, Ursula, why are you rushing? Because God has a time and a place for everything that he has here on this earth for us to take a curse, which means that when it's time for that butterfly hummingbird flower to bloom, it will stop rushing. And I am not a person who get impatient, but I love to see what God is doing out here. As I've mentioned before, some of my um, journeys going to work when I do my inspirational messages, how I look at the trees in the fall and look at everything's happening and the leaves falling in the brown. I used to always say around that time, oh gosh, it's time to rake leaves. But now I love it. It's beautiful. It makes me think about how in life things have to move away in order for newness to come in. So I am not going to be impatient to wait on that flower to start blooming you all. I'm not going to do that because what God has out here for us, you know, he has his timing for it and we need to be patient for it. So if you are a person feeling like there's something that you really want in life to happen or to occur, just be patient. God is going to take care of it. Just continue to stay in prayer, trust, and keep in the head of your life. And he is going to make it happen. So I am not going to be impatient about my flower. I'm just going to look around at the trees that I'm looking at now, the beautiful green grass, other people's blooming to see how theirs are blooming. And guess what? Mine's will be coming as well. So you all... Be blessed. Be safe out there. Have a happy Easter, you all. I know those babies are getting ready for tomorrow. I used to be over Christian education at my church for eight years. And I know the day was a day people probably practiced for speeches at church and last Sunday, Saturday, and doing all these things and getting the hair done, the clothes done, fixing the baskets, the Easter egg hunts, making the Easter cakes, all of that fun stuff I did with my son. So enjoy every moment of you all. You all be blessed, be safe, and remember that I love you all.